hi and welcome back. Today's tutorial is a little quick guide on how you do the perfect pom-pom every time. The materials for this pom-pom you'll need some scissors, two pieces of cardboard in the size you want your pom-pom to be, I made a snip in one of them to hold the yarn, you'll need two toilet paper rolls and I would have preferred two in the same size but my husband wasn't quick enough to make two of these so I borrowed one from the neighbor. You will need some yarn, just pick any yarn you want, and let's get going. Grab your toilet paper rolls and your yarn. I put two together, leave a tail, and start wrapping. You will wrap this 50 times. When you're done wrapping, leave a tail and snip your yarn. And you bind a knot. This is not necessary, it's just to hold it in place. Then you grab your yarn again. And I always make it a double, no matter I did double it to start with. Now you go behind and take your yarn between the toilet paper rolls on both sides. And you bind a knot yet again, but not only once, you do it twice. So when you pull, you can let go and it won't get loose and just pull it a bit hard. Now you can take it off your toilet paper rolls. Be careful. And tie it a bit more. I make this a double so I can really pull without it breaking. And I make an extra. And that's it. Then I cut this knot off so it won't follow us. And then we cut the edges. Find the sharpest scissors you can. It's much easier with a sh with sharp scissors. And remember to cut all the yarn, all the little loops. But be careful not to cut the inside. This in the middle. Then you can start over. I leave this, if you want to attach the pom-pom to something, it's nice to have this one. If you don't need to attach it, you can cut it off. Then you take your cardboard, your two pieces, the one with the snip, you take this and put in the middle. So you have something to hold on to. Then you take the other piece of cardboard and put on top. Like this. You have a little burger. And then you cut around here. All the way in to the edge. Again, it's nice to have some sharp scissors. When we're done with that, 
we take the cardboard away and we turn it and we do the same on the side with one cardboard here and you can do it again with the yarn in the middle and turn it over and place the other cardboard on top so it's even like this and you start cutting again this is just to make it the size you want it you will give it a nice haircut afterwards so we're almost done so now we have around the same size like this and we remove the cardboard and fluff it a little bit and it's really messy this yarn everywhere and you just give it a nice haircut and take your time doing this you can actually make it really pretty if you just nurse it a little bit remember to subscribe to my channel if you like what I do I try to explain everything I do really carefully but if you have any questions you can leave them in the comments and I will answer so we almost have our pom pom so now we're almost done I will actually just cut this off because I don't need it for what I'm doing but now we have the perfect little pom pom Remember, the more times you wrap the yarn, the more tight the pom-pom gets. You can also do it a little more loose, but I like my pom-poms firm. So there you have it. The way to make an easy and perfect pom-pom every time. I will see you next week when there's a new tutorial coming. Bye!